Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? I have been, this kind of hurts me a little, um, because I, I, I've loved the Saints for as long as I've lived, and um, and I want them to be awesome. But I also have a, a responsibility every day when I open this microphone to be honest with you, and I'm never going to ever just fabricate an opinion to appease you. I'm going to tell you how I feel, and I've told you how I feel about Dennis Allen as a head coach and Derek Carr as a starting quarterback. And I have been sort of framed as a hater. Um, and I think as the sample size grows, though more of you understand that it, it's, it's nothing personal. I don't, I don't hate Dennis Allen or Derek Carr. I think they're good men, and I've said that a bunch, and that's far more important in life than you know, how far you throw a football or if, you, know, if you, you call the right defense in a certain spot. The... But every time I give you either subjective or objective evidence, the people who don't want to hear it push back. I could give you objective data about Dennis Allen's winning percentage as a head coach. Objective data about Derek Carr, quarterback rating, red zone percentage, win percentage, all the stuff that is inarguable. And then subjective things like tier rankings and it continues to say the same thing over and over again, which is Derek Carr's a mid-level quarterback in the NFL and Dennis Allen's not a good head coach. I mean, that's the basis of it. But a lot of people, while you may not like the message, what you really don't like is the messenger. You don't like that I'm saying it. For whatever reason. Bald guy, never played in the NFL, what do you know? Whatever. You don't like the messenger. And that's okay. That's okay. But what you cannot argue with now is who is now saying the same thing about Dennis Allen. The NFL Players Association sends out a survey annually to all of its members, meaning the players in the NFL. And they're asked to rate their franchise, and they're asked to rate their coaches, head coach, coordinators, etc. And so then the coaches are ranked based on the approval from their team. Their team. The players in the locker room are asked to grade and rate their coaches. The 53 players in the Chiefs locker room, they vote on Andy Reid. The 53 players in the Lions locker room vote on Dan Campbell. The 53 dudes in the Saints locker room, they vote and tell you their opinion of Dennis Allen. Have you seen the list? Number one, Andy Reid. Number two, Kevin O'Connell with the Vikings. Dan Campbell, three. Sean McVay, four. Mike Tomlin, Nick Sirianni, Kyle Shanahan. A lot of teams that win. Mike McDaniel with the Dolphins, eight. Mike McCarthy with the Cowboys, nine. Zach Taylor in Cincinnati. That rounds out the top ten. Interestingly, Pete Carroll was 11. The highest rated coach that wasn't retained. Sean McDermott, Brian Dayball, D'Amico Ryans. This was interesting because in the middle of the list, you get guys that are a bunch of first-year coaches. D'Amico Ryan's 14, Jonathan Gannon 15, Frank Reich 16, Sean Payton 17, Shane Steichen 18. Makes sense, right? New coach comes in, half, yeah, it makes sense. Half the guys are going to like you, half the guys aren't going to like you. It, it makes sense that you'd be right there in the middle of the pack of the NFL with the new coaches. Biggest surprise, John Harbaugh at 20 shows you can win and still not have great respect or admiration from your locker room. But what's the most interesting, to me anyway, is where we find Dennis Allen. The lowest rated coach on this list, again, by their players, not me, not media, this is the opinions of the players in the locker room voting on their approval of their head coach. Dead last was Josh McDaniels, got fired. 31st, Ron Rivera, got fired. 30th, Arthur Smith, got fired. 29th, Dennis Allen. 
Dennis Allen, Dennis Allen is the lowest regarded coach to keep his job in the NFL this year. Not by me, not by media members, not by some fangled metric, some algorithm that a computer spit out, but the human beings that go to work every day, practice, game plan, play with him as their head coach, and only three coaches in the NFL were rated lower than Dennis Allen, and those three got fired. Arthur Smith, Ron Rivera, Josh McDaniels. Again, you may not like me being the messenger. Go look at the guys in the Saints locker room and tell them they're wrong about Dennis Allen. I've told y'all this. I've told y'all this for more than a year now. Dennis Allen might be a good person. But he's a lieutenant, not a general. Not every lieutenant was meant to be a general. He's a great defensive coordinator. He's a lousy head coach. The sample size keeps growing. It keeps telling you the same darn thing. Look at what happened in the last game of the season. The last right there with the touchdown that Jamal Williams scored when Jameis called his own play. And everybody in that locker room came to Jameis' defense. Jimmy Graham, hell, called him the best teammate he ever had. Jimmy Graham played with Drew Brees. Cam Jordan came to his defense. Everybody. What does Dennis Allen do? Apologizes to Arthur Smith. Goes in the postgame and admonishes his team. You think you got the respect of those guys? Clearly you don't. I and and the as much as much as this stings to see this, the best part about this is I don't have to say it anymore. I don't have to be the one to tell you. The players in the locker room are telling you they don't respect their head coach. So run it out there, run it back again. Run it back with Dennis Allen. Run it back with Derek Carr. Commit yourself financially to him longer. Mickey Loomis, without the threat of any consequence whatsoever. Miss the playoffs again. Just keep running it back. It ain't me sitting in the studio telling you. It's the players in the locker room telling you they do not respect their coach. How in the world are you going to win when the players in the locker room do not respect the man standing in front of them trying to lead him. Ain't me saying it no more, y'all. Maybe just get a whole bunch of new players. Keep Dennis Allen. Get rid of all the players. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.